Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to equip your landscape trailer or in any enclosed trailer with a cheap and affordable, basically what it is, a car alarm, but I've modified it to uh, work on my trailer. So uh, if you're looking to spend only uh, under a hundred bucks to uh, have a alarm system on your trailer, I'm going to show you in this short video how I did mine. Uh, so first of all, the Crime Stopper. I don't know if you can see that, but this is my hand uh, handheld uh, deactivator um, or remote. And basically, the Crime Stopper SP101 is what I put on it. So I'm going to go ahead and arm it and show you how it works real quick. So the trailer is armed, and I have mounted the LED flashing LED over here on the plastic vent. I don't know if you can see it, but it shows you that it is armed. And I mounted it there because it was uh, I didn't want to drill any holes through the metal sheeting there. But uh, what I have have it hooked up. I have the shock sensor hooked up to it. So any shocks, let me show you. You're gonna get the warning chirp, and it's relatively sensitive. Um, you go around here, and you're still gonna get the warning chirp. I've also mag uh, mounted magnetic switches to both doors, so uh, as soon as the both doors are open, uh, it should go off immediately. Let's see. that door I'm going to show you the other side door here hooked up inside but uh, basically uh, I have my magnetic switches on the doors these are just a couple dollars on uh, Amazon it's the uh, open and closed uh, magnetic door switch I have both of those on each door I have one here and let me show you the one I have on the back here I'll give myself some light, so I'm going to open this back up. If you come in here and look, I have the magnetic switch also there. And the other side is on the, on the other end there. But uh, basically, I ran the wires behind the behind the wood here so all you have to do is just really kind of tuck it back there run into your back switch there it's only really two wires I've had to run from the main system here so this wire runs all the way around as you can see here as well as this switch here it is grounded here uh, so basically you have a normally closed, which is your ground, to ground, and then this is to your computer or to your, uh, your brains of your uh, alarm system, which is uh, the negative. So uh, both of these are negative outputs from the alarm system to ground. This is ground, which I've grounded to the light here. But basically if you ground both switches, magnetic switches, to the trailer, and you connect this to your brains of your uh, alarm, you'll, you'll trigger it every time these are broken. So, so just remember, there's a you have to get a normally closed switch, or in this case I bought a normally open, they're both, so normally open and normally closed. So just remember that. But I'll show you, I'll show you all the components that I bought. 
Um, this is the system, eBay, Amazon, $33, the SP-101. Um, I've added an extra siren. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Let's see. It's a 513T, uh, I believe, Mini Pazero. And then I used a couple of these magnetic switches here. And it gives you the part number 8601, just two of those. Um, let's see how we, I'm going to show you how. First of all, I guess I mounted the inside siren, which so you will get a big blast once you walk into the trailer. That's one siren there. I've also mounted the other out exterior siren underneath the trailer. Let me give you a short glance of that. Uh, and that is there. Ground it. You run your wire. I found two openings on the corner of each trailer where I ran my wires. And you can pretty much, um, they're all the same, so you can just, I took a tape measure and just taped it to it and ran it right straight up. So this is my positive wire for my alarm. And I ran that up to the brains of the alarm system. That's pretty much the only exterior wire. And then all you have to do is mount all your brains. I did a central location in the middle. I had this handy dandy utility cabinet that I mounted my battery. You're gonna need a battery. Um, luckily I had an old uh, car battery around. I used that. But you can use a lawnmower battery for about 27 bucks at the Home Depot Lowe's. Um, so I used that, and basically I have a ground wire here running to the frame of the trailer, which you can see, which I have connected there. I just used the basic uh, car battery uh, negative ground, so I have a good ground uh, for the frame. And then, of course, your power wire to the brains of this system, and I routed the ignition wire which is just free hanging 